Hi everyone, I'm Cody W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems and today we're going to be showing you how to create basically a private talk group uh, for yourself and your buddies on Brandmeister in DMR. So we won't actually be able to look at the Brandmeister side of things because it looks like it's down right now, the Brandmeister site, but it's still working, the server's still up and running, uh, so we should be set for the demonstration. So first thing we'll need, obviously our radio, and then we are going to need a radio ID. So we have that radioid.net, I have my DMR ID, and then today we're using Brandmeister for this demo. You could, should be able to do the same thing with different uh, networks like the TGIF network, or there's a few others out there. You should be able to do a similar thing with them. Uh, but for Brandmeister, we're gonna demonstrate it with that today. Um, you will need to have your Brandmeister uh, hotspot security password set up if you're using a hotspot, uh, which most likely you will be if you're doing this. And basically what we're doing, instead of going and finding a talk group number, so we could go find like talk group 91, that's a worldwide talk group, or talk group, uh, you know, one of our local talk groups, instead of doing that, we're actually going to use someone's DMR ID as the talk group number. And what that's going to do is anyone else who uses that is going to be able to talk. Now, you know, it's not going to be 100% private. Someone else could stumble upon your DMR number and program the radio up and talk to you that way. Uh, so it's not really private per se, but most people are not going to do that. Uh, so you, you know, if you use one of your buddies, we can just, in this case, I'm going to be the one, we're gonna use my DMR ID as the primary talk group number, and then all these radios will be set up to work with it. So let's get into it and see how it works. This is Alpha Echo oh. Zero Lima NGO. Okay. So we'll get this set up here real quick. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, we'll set up this radio here, uh, finish setting this up, uh, and then we'll set up the primary radio. So this is gonna be my radio. I've got this one already set up. One of the other guys in the shop here, uh, he'll be, uh, he's actually set up for this one, so we'll be able to uh, hear this radio go off when we transmit. I'm gonna set this one up, finish setting it up for another person, and then, uh, we'll show you the whole entire process on this radio. So we'll jump over here to the computer and open up the CPS. Um, so what you'll want to do is uh, just a blank radio. You want to read from your radio, already done that. And I'm going to go a little bit fast here and then we'll go into more detail on this radio. Um, so first thing, I'm going to add my information. So if I go in here, I want to add my call sign and DMR ID. Now I've gotten permission from Ron to use his for this, this example, so we're gonna put his call sign in here. Just like that. And then if we go over here to the, uh, let's see, the web browser, we can find out what his DMR ID is. Just like that. Awesome, and it will show us Yep, there is the DMR ID, so we're gonna put that in here. Uh, now, all of your buddies who want to use your talk group will, you know, the setup of their radio won't change. They will just add this talk group and channel to their radio, so we'll show you that here in a second. Okay, there we go, so we're set there. Awesome, and then under contact and talk group, what we're going to do is add another talk group it's going to be a group call. Now, if you just want to talk to one other person, you can make it a private call, and you would just input each other's DMR IDs. That works, but if you want to make it a group call, uh, we can do it this way. So I've got Cody's talk group in here, and then we made it a group call, and we have my, my actual DMR ID. So my call sign is W3AMG, and my radio ID is 3152688, which is what's in there. So we're set. Excuse me, then we just go over to channel and actually create a channel for that, which we've done here. I've gotten it set up to work with the SkyBridge. We're, we're good to go there. And then at that point, it's just a matter of going over to the zone, adding that to our zone, which we've done. And then we can write this to the radio. So we'll write that to the radio real quick. There we go. And we should be in good shape. Awesome, so this one is set up. Uh, now all we have to do is just finish setting up our hotspot 
Uh, we have a, a radio. This radio is paired to a hotspot over there um, for Lucas. And then we've got this radio set up for Ron. We'll pair that to this hotspot. And then we'll set this radio up, which is my radio. Uh, we'll set that up to this hotspot right here. So awesome. We're good to go there. Just like that. And then let's jump over here to the, the hotspot side of things real quick. Real simple to do. Uh, so you just put the, let's see, make sure we're on the correct hotspot. Yep. And for those of you who are, have not uh, set up a hotspot before, what you can do is actually look at your hotspot and the SkyBridge makes it super easy to, to find uh, how to log into it. So this IP address here, right at the top, that's what you're going to type into your web browser. As long as you're on the same network, whether that's at your home or a, a Wi-Fi hotspot, anything like that, it's going to work. Just make sure your computer is on that same network and you'll be able to log into it. So I've typed that in here and went to the configuration tab. Once we're inside of the, the dashboard, this is an old SkyBridge. Like I said, we shipped all the, all the new stuff down to Orlando uh, for Hamcation, so we're using an old one so it doesn't have the updated BridgeCom colors in it. Uh, but once you're inside of here, what you'll want to do is input your call sign. So this one we're setting up for, for Ron's radio. So that's going to be KC0UVT, awesome. And then the ID, there we go. And we're going to make this 550. That's what we have everything else set up on. There we go. Should be set there. And then we want this to be private just because we have lots of hotspots running on the same, um, same frequency right now. So we're going to make that private. And then the obviously enter your Brandmeister password. If you don't have one, go to Brandmeister to set one up. Awesome, there we go. And we can go ahead and save changes. Just like that, we should be all set. And while we're waiting for that to load real quick, I uh, just wanna let you guys know, we are doing a giveaway during this stream, so make sure you sign up for that. Uh, if you're a just a standard viewer, you have the opportunity to win one year of full subscription paid for for BridgeCom Plus. Uh, so that's going to give you special access to deals, uh, exclusive offers, early access to things. Uh, you're actually going to get in, an own, in your own private group of other BridgeCom Plus members, like-minded hams, uh, that want, their, want to take their experience to the next level. Uh, so you can get you know, expedited support with that. There's people there to help you all the time. And then uh, you're also going to get access to exclusive giveaways too. So if you are a BridgeCom Plus member, during this stream, we're going to give away one 878UV2 Plus to one lucky winner who's a BridgeCom Plus member. Uh, so you're going to get access to exclusive giveaways as well. Uh, so two opportunities for you here. Uh, you could either win BridgeCom Plus or if you're a member, you have the chance to win yourself a brand new radio. How cool is that? There we go. So this is ready to rock and roll now. We have our hotspot set up. We have the radios set up. Uh, make sure we changed. Let's see. Both radios should be set here. Yep, we're looking good here. So now let's set up my radio. So we'll plug this in here real quick, get that turned on. I'll go into a little bit more detail with how it works on this one for you. Okay, so I'm gonna close out of this CPS. We'll save it just in case we need to come back to it. go and open up the CPS for the UV2. Uh, now it's always a good idea to read from your radio first. So we're going to read from this radio and then uh, we're going to edit it because sometimes if you don't read from the radio, your CPS can be on a different uh, version or a different uh, band plan and then you build your whole code plug and then you try to write to it and suddenly you run into a band error which can be very frustrating. So just make sure you read from it first. So we, we'll read from the radio here real quick. And I'm just going to read the other data. Just like that.
Awesome, so we are all set up here, fresh blank radio. So let's set it up. First thing I'm gonna do is go to digital and radio ID list. Now at this point inside of here, we'll just put my own information. Uh, and you would do this the same no matter who you are. So we'll put my radio ID, which is 3152688, oops. And then my name and call sign. Awesome, just like that. There we go, we're good there. And then we'll go up to talk group, contact slash talk group. And in this section, uh, this is where we want to input the talk group. So we're going to give it a name. Uh, so you could call us anything you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Each person could call it and give it a different name. The key is that we're using one ID. So in this case, we're using my ID. And I could have, you know, I could have 30 buddies if, if I wanted to, all using this same ID. So if I wanted to host like a, a private room uh, myself, I could give people my radio ID and say, put this in as a talk group in your radio. And now everyone's going to be able to access that talk group who has my ID. Um, so, you know, obviously, it's not gonna be 100% private, but for the most part, it's very practical and it works great. So we're gonna input, in this case, we're using my ID as the host, so we'll input that in there. Let's see, 3152688, just like that. And we want that to be a group call. If you make it a private call, uh, you're not gonna be able to have different people in it. If you want to have a more of a private call between two different people, what you can do is have on your side have their DMR ID in, make that a you know a, a private call, and then on on the other side they would have your DMR ID in there. So uh, we've demoed that in the past. Just a heads up for how that would work. Uh, but if you want to have a group, this is the way to do it. Awesome. So we're we're almost set here. Now let's go. We want to change optional settings real quick. Uh, just at the bare minimum, go into work mode and change this display mode over from frequency to channel. There you go. And then we're going to go up here to channel and we will actually create a channel for it. So we'll do 446550, oops, that's the name. We'll give it a name and then we'll input the frequency. So 446550, just like that, oops. Four four six five five zero. There we go. Awesome. And then uh, make sure that's digital. Because we're talking to a hotspot, we don't need any any kind of high power. Low power is going to be more than sufficient to reach the hotspot. Because even if you can reach the hotspot, it still has to reach back to you. So low power is going to be more than sufficient for hotspot use. There we go. And then make sure you select your contact. In this case, we just have one, so it pre-selected, but make sure you select the talk group we're wanting to use. There we go. And then color code one times slot two for the sky bridge. And we are good to go. So we have that set up. Now go over to your zones and make sure you add that to a zone. So we'll get rid of all of these channels that are not gonna be used. And then you just click on the one you want and then add that over. There we go. And you could create a new zone for this. Uh, you know, maybe you have different buddies who have want to host different uh, talk groups and different rooms, stuff like that. You could add as many of those as you want. Now at this point, uh, we're just going to write this to the radio and the other data, and we should be all set. So this is exciting. We get to try it out here. We'll see how this works. Um, so I believe we have these different radios hooked up uh, to the different hot spots and we'll see if we can't get this to work. These may have to be keyed up. Make sure they're all on the on the network here. There we go. And at this point we should be all set. So let's give it a shot. And now the goal, I'll turn the volumes down here so it's not too loud, uh, but the goal if we can see this is to actually have both of these radios light up here. That means they're receiving. So let's give it a shot. 
This is Cody, W3AMG, testing out the new talk group we created. How cool is that? Did you see that? So it is totally working. We have a different uh, user ID and call sign in each one of these radios. They're on three different sky bridges, and now we have our own talk group. How cool is that? So we get, we get asked this question all the time, like, hey, can I create a talk group? Well, unfortunately, they pretty much shut that down, so you can't go and create like a a Brandmeister talk group anymore, but uh, for you and your buddies, you can totally create a talk group. Just pick one of you guys, use their DMR ID, and then make yourself a private little room. Uh, so this works great uh, if you want to talk to multiple people, but you don't want to just be out there on a talk group that anyone can go find and talk to. Uh, so it's super practical and works great for you know groups or different, uh, if you want to have some kind of net, but you don't want everyone involved, this is awesome for that. Let's try it out again. Testing, one, two, three, W3 AMG. There we go, how cool is that? It's working. Uh, and we could, we could use one of these radios, it would work just the same. This is W3 AMG. There you go, and you can see it's working fine. Uh, so all those radios, and just to show you, we'll go into the, the menu here on the radios. Uh, if we can see if I can get them all in the shot, and get, we can go into menu, and settings, and device info. There we go, we can see the radio ID and call sign. I believe this is Lucas's radio. We'll go into this one here. Go down to settings, device info. There we go, this looks like Ron's radio. And then if we go in here, we can go down to settings, device info, Oops. and this is my radio. So they're all working together, uh, totally separate. <coughs> call signs and radio IDs, and there we have it. So that, that, that went pretty well, actually. Uh, we got that set up in no time. So if you guys want to create your own talk group, super, super simple to do. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you learned something from today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it. To make sure you don't miss out on any more great content. That's all I have for you today. I'm Cody, W3AMG, 7-3.